The end of Frasier back in 2004 hasn't exactly stopped Jane Leaves, who played Daphne on the show, from working consistently in Hollywood. From her animated film and voice work to the next generation of television comedies, here's what she's been up to over the years. Leaves is arguably best known for her role on Frasier as Daphne Moon, a physical therapist who truly believes she has psychic powers. Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting something on you. <laughs> She's psychic. We've decided to find it charming. Leaves became a household name during her time on the series, picking up Emmy and Golden Globe nominations throughout the show's run. Off-screen, Frasier turned Leaves into the highest-paid British actress at the time, while on-screen, viewers became extraordinarily invested in Daphne's romantic relationship with Niles Crane, Frasier's brother. This relationship is developed while she lives in the Crane's apartment as a caretaker to their father Martin, despite the fact that Niles is married when they first meet. Though some critics weren't as enamored with the relationship, it helped sell Leaves as a romantic lead, and when the show ended in 2004, the finale was well-received, leaving Leaves and the rest of the main cast in a prime position to pursue whichever projects they wanted to tackle next. Having become a TV star, Leaves opted for a relatively modest slate of film and television work following her Frasier breakthrough. Using her distinctive voice and now-famous British accent, Leaves lent her voice to a number of animated films, beginning with the stop-motion film James and the Giant Peach in 1996. Based on Roald Dahl's famous children's novel, Peach featured Leaves as Mrs. Ladybug, one of James's insect friends, alongside big names like Susan Sarandon, Richard Dreyfuss, and David Thewlis. Her next animated role was a return to television in the Penguins of Madagascar series, where she played Lulu the chimp for two episodes in both 2009 and 2011. She followed this up with recurring and varied voice work on Phineas and Ferb, where she appeared as Wanda Acronym, one of the leaders of the organization without a cool acronym. She's in charge of a secret agent that also happens to be someone's pet chihuahua. It's kind of a weird show. During Frasier's run, Leaves booked a role in 1999's Music of the Heart, a feature film based on the true story of Roberta Gaspari, a crusader for music education within New York City's public schools, who pioneered music as a source of inspiration and stability for at-risk youth. Directed by Wes Craven, the film was nominated for a handful of Academy Awards and was well-received by critics. In 2002, Leaves made her Broadway debut, taking over for Molly Ringwald in the long-running show Cabaret. She also appeared in the 2003 film The Event, a low-budget indie that premiered at Sundance to standing ovations. Thanks to their success on Frasier, Leaves and her fellow female lead Perry Gilpin decided to take charge of their own Hollywood fates and start their own production company. The two subsequently founded Bristol Cities, which Leaves later confessed was named after a dirty Cockney rhyme. The company's most notable project was intended to be the American remake of the popular and beloved British series The Vicar of Dibley, which the two produced in 2007. The original, which ran for four years in the 1990s on BBC One, focused on a small fictional English village called Dibley and its female vicar. With star Kirstie Alley and producer Richard Curtis on board, it seemed a surefire success, but Fox sadly ended up passing on the pilot. The 2000s saw Leaves maintain a steady presence on television, beginning with a two-episode arc on Desperate Housewives as a therapist who helps Lynette and Tom with their relationship problems. Much more recently, she's also appeared on Fox's medical drama The Resident, becoming a series regular for the second season as orthopedic surgeon Dr. Kit Voss. However, her biggest post frasier gig has undoubtedly been her leading role on Hot in Cleveland as Joy Scroggs, a 40-something former eyebrow artist to the stars. The series, which aired on TV Land for 128 episodes between 2010 and 2015, also starred Leaves' Frasier co-star Wendy Malick, and told the story of four best friends from Los Angeles who end up making a new life in Cleveland. Former Frasier stars Perry Gilpin and John Mahoney also guest starred on the show, which was well-received, earning SAG and Primetime Emmy nominations and wins throughout its run. In 1996, Leaves married a television executive named Marshall Coben, and when she became pregnant with their first child, Isabella, during her time on Frasier, the writers adapted quickly, writing her pregnancy into a plot that found the character gaining weight thanks to her stressful relationship with Niles. The couple's second child, Finn, was born in 2003. Leaves' pregnancy being a part of Frasier isn't the only impact that the show had on her family life. Perry Gilpin and Leaves have been close friends for a number of years, and not only was Gilpin present at the birth of Leaves' daughter, but she's also Isabella's godmother, and Leaves is godmother to Gilpin's daughter, Stella. The two former co-workers even live next door to each other. When Leaves' son, Finn, was born, she named John Mahoney and David Hyde Pierce as his godfathers. Turn him over if he starts fussing, will you, Dad? No. <laughs> I'm role-playing, Dad. Try playing the role of a sane person. <laughs> Clearly, the relationships on Frasier went far beyond the set itself and began relationships between the cast members that would go on to become the foundations for a real-life family. 
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.